So the next speaker is Yuta Takahashi, and he will talk about higher order universe operators in Martin Love type theory with one Malo universe. Please. Thank you for introduction. So, first of all, let me explain the background of my talk. Martin Love type theory has a so called universe types. Martin Leff motivated the introduction of universe types in terms of a reflection principle. Whatever we are used to doing with types can be done inside the universe. Following this principle, Zeta introduced MLTT with a MAL universe and determined its proof theory <coughs> on a MAL universes have a reflection property similar to the ones of weakly MAL cardinals and recursively MAL onions. Later, Latin formulated the MAL property in constructed set theory CZF and showed that CZF is an action asserting the existence of a MAL set is interpretable in the extension of M and TT. So what is a MAL universe? In this talk, we use the logical framework adapted in Agda and the families of sets formulation of MAL universes. Then a MAL universe type V is a decoding function T reflects any operator on family of sets in V. In other words, if you have an operator F on families of sets in V, then we have a universe UF, UF, U hat F. And UF is a sub-universe of V with a decoding function such that this family is closed under F. So this is an uh, instance of reflection. Let me explain this closeness. For a given operator F on families of sets in V, the closeness of this family is expressed by the constructors for UF, namely less F. The types and computation <coughs> rules for less F are as follows, but let me explain informally. Consider a, a family of sets in UF, AB. Then less F maps to maps this family to another family because less F is the restriction of F to UF. Then if we decoding if we decode this family, then we obtain a family, family of sets in V, which is equal to the family obtained by decoding A B first and then applying F. So yeah, this is a closeness of this sub-universe. Let's see like <coughs> example of sub-universes. First is a universe F containing A and B, a family of sets A, B. In this case, define F0 in this way. Here we use a dummy variable C, namely C does not occur in A nor B freely. Then we have this sub-universe. And this sub-universe is just a universe containing this family A, B because we used a dummy variable here. Uh, let me skip this equation. Another example is a super universe, which is a, which is a universe closed under universe construction. In this case, we define an operator on families of sets in V in this way, lambda CY. And please note that here, Y is a parameter of this type. Then by reflecting it, we have sub-universe UF. And then we define the universe operator G. This is indeed the universe operator because G takes a family of sets in V and then return a universe containing it as we saw above. Then by reflecting it again, we obtain a super universe, UG. Next, let me explain another extension of MLTT, which I want to compare with MAL universes. Latin, Griffois, and Palmgren introduced the system MLQ of MLTT, which includes a type Q. Q is an inductive type of codes for operators 
which provides universities closed under the universe operators constructed previously. Using Axel's interpretation of CZF in MLTT, they showed that CZF is an action asserting the existence of inaccessible sets is interpretable in MLTT. In sum, both MLM MLM, MLTT is one more universe, and MLQ were introduced to study the type theoretic counterpart of sets. The comparison in terms of pure theoretic strengths was already attempted in the literature, but we aim to investigate the relationship more directly by simulating MLQ in MLM. For this purpose, let me give several definitions. Inspired by Karim Glenn's work, we define operators of order n and families of order n on V. But in this talk, we use only these four items. O0 is just V, and F0 is a type of family of sets in V. And O1 is a function space from F0 to F0, and F1 is a type of families of operators of order 1. Then an uh, element of Q should be simulated with an operator U from F1, namely families of operator of order 1, to O1 in MLM, such that for any A1B1, which is a family of operators of order 1, U of A1B1 is a universe operator which takes a family of sets in V and returns a universe U tilde satisfying U tilde contains Y, this family, and U tilde is also closed under all operators in the family, in this family. We construct such a U tilde with a family of sub-universes of B. And here is a definition, but let me continue the informal explanation. We construct such a U tilde as this family of sub-universes. This sub-universe is uh, formed by you, you by reflecting, reflecting this operator. The point is twofold. <coughs> the use of the element eliminator for a Boolean type. So if, if z is equal to 0, we obtain a sub-universe containing y. And if z is equal to 1, we obtain a sub-universe, which is closed under all operators in the family a1b1. And another point is the use of parameter of greater order. Here we use parameter B1, which is a family of operator of order one. Finally, let me explain another uh, parameter generalization of MLQ. And I want to compare it with Mario universes. Parameter introduced a family MLN of system of higher order universe operators and show that MLQ is an instance of ML3. So what is a MLN? For example, ML4 has a third order universe operator, which enables to construct second order universe operators inductively. On the other hand, ML3, hence MLQ, has no third order universe operator and cannot construct a second order universe operator newly. Here is our idea for uh, simulating ML4 in MLM. But let me give a case study. Simulate a third order operator O3 such that if O3 takes a second order operator O2, a first order operator O1, and a Y, which is a family of sets in V, then O3 returns an inverse tilde satisfying a blah, 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 and especially U tilde is closed under O2, O1, namely the first order operator obtained by applying O2 to O1. In this case, we simulate U tilde by the following family. Here, we obtain this sub-universe by reflecting this op operator. And here, we use a higher order parameter to simulate U tilde, namely a parameter O2 is a higher order parameter. So let me conclude. We have sketched how to simulate higher order universe operators of MLQ and MLN in MLM. On the other hand, Dubier and Zetta showed that 
MLL can be defined by induction recursion, and a version of Mario universes can be defined by induction recursion as well. So induction recursion is more comprehensive than Mario universes in this respect. But we believe that Mario universes are still to be investigated further since they can be extended in a natural way, such as hyper Mario universes, autonomous Mario universes, and so on. These extensions should be enabled us to study the type theoretic formulation of large sets further. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Have you tried to formalize this in ACTA or some other theorem prover? Yeah, I, I tried. And yeah, I formalized my simulation in AGDA. In this formalization, I use uh, Dubé and, uh, yeah, Dubé and you uh, formalize it a Maru universe in AGDA. So I use that formulation to simulate. Uh, uh, to humanize my work in Agda. And were there any problems you are facing? Or? So, so sorry? Did, you, did uh, you face any particular problems? Uh? Uh, no. Maybe my, my, my Agda says that all the answer. So <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because when I tried my first formalization of the Malo universe, uh, actor immediately crashed. So, <laughs> uh, but, but uh, as you know, I I used a weaker version Maru universe, na namely external Maru universe. Uh, and as as you as you have shown, uh, internal Maru universe cannot be formalized in Agra because such a Maru universe is be, uh, stronger than induction recursion. Yeah, thank you. Maybe time for one short question. If there's none, then we are on, on schedule. So let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.